students today i will tell you what are the reference sources in academic libraries now in this presentation my outline of this presentation will be information seeking behavior and why academic library is important users of academic libraries why academic library services are necessary or what are these services different types we will discuss and we will see what are the different types of sources reference sources we use in academic library environment now as we know that whenever researcher or any users approach any library so they either come to library for their daily routine you know information requirement or they come with a very specialized requirement now routine requirement we call them as you know everyday approach however specialized requirement are comprehensive approach which normally researchers or very uh, special cases uh, who are doing research so they basically you know um, uh, follow academicians are more or less interested in or students they are more or less interested in you know regular approach rather currency approach or the you know catching up approach now if you see the academic libraries are of you know majorly three types or you can also call them four types when research institute libraries are also considered now for juniors we call them school libraries so school every school has a academic library attached to it for you know when these schools students goes to college then college has their own academic libraries similarly you know when we are going to universities so university libraries are also you know there so depending on these nature of institutions you know var varieties of libraries or various types of libraries they also you know provide different kind of services and they also rather carry different type of reference sources in um, as part of their you know daily activities now for example in a school library you will find textbooks you know globes rather you know um, uh, cartoon types of things some you know storytelling materials toys that kind of things however in a college library you can't expect those things rather it will be more academic oriented in university library when you go you will find you know further research oriented or further uh, you know uh, specific uh, standards type of or patent types of resources as well so depending on their need or the researchers need or users needs library vary along with their resources vary now why academic library is at all needed this help institutes to fulfill teaching and learning objectives so every academic institution has this objective so therefore you know these libraries will have to cater to those you know resource needs this inculcate reading habits conservation of knowledge dissemination of knowledge through different services through different you know supports to teaching and as uh, such as you know teaching materials study material tutorials that kind of thing you know this also train students through lifelong learning and also train them discipline like what kind of discipline they should look into what type of uh, studies they should do in future probably you know such kind of advisory services for students is beneficial for their overall you know development now these are some examples of academic libraries uh, where you can say that is university of chicago libraries should they basically you know provide different types of services this is another library uh, that is center for research library so that gives you you know information of what kind of digital resources or services they are uh, uh, providing to their uh, users delhi university library system they also have a online library system where you can you know um, even reserve books you can uh, search you know books and their catalogs and you can also access them from remote access so these are different type of you know um, libraries with different backgrounds 
Now, this is one uh, another example of Chicago State University libraries where it is clearly showing types of you know services they are providing to their you know clientele. Now, when we see who are the academic libraries users, so the first thing which come into our mind that the students because academic libraries are meant for students. Now, students, teachers, different researchers even and at the same time you know whenever any you know special consultants they also want to you know uh, search these libraries or any researcher they want to search these libraries. So, you know this these are the users fraternity of any academic libraries. Now, for school libraries students are school students for you know college or university libraries they are young adults or adults. Now, it is vital for researchers or academics and students to keep up to date with published literature. So, that is why you know academic library services are so important and when you see that the rate with which information grows, when you see the information scattered in different places available in various languages as well as you know cost of information is going high. So, people do not have access to all information. So, there is a necessity that a centralized place or maybe a you know um, uh, place may be in the online also. So, you can you know access to those information. So, that users whenever they approach to you know that library, so they can get access to all those information. So, that is important plus these libraries help you know updating your knowledge up to the current level helps teachers to you know understand what are the tutorials available on their subjects, what are the latest developments is available on their subjects. So, you know this is this like this kind of libraries plays enormous beneficial role to you know uh, provide information service to students as well as faculty members. Now, for example, you know University of Kashmir library if we see, so they listed down what are the type of different services they provide as well as what are the different extension activities they you know uh, provide for their students and faculty members. Similarly, you can find you know university library uh, of um, uh, Kerala. So, they provide you a detailed listing of services what academic library you know provide there. Now, if we try to list down what are the type of services because our aim is to find out what are the reference sources exactly available or sh should be made available in any academic setup. So, therefore, we need to know what are the type of services this uh, kind of libraries provide. Now, like all libraries these also provide some basic services. Basic services like circulation, interlibrary loan where you know uh, some resources are basically borrowed from other uh, organizations, reprographic services, user education, you know storytelling these are useful for any school library uh, act, uh, services like you know debates that is also you know a part of school library activities, film shows, reading facilities, advisory services where you know young adults or students they decide which stream to go thereafter or maybe what should be the next you know step of study they should you know conduct. So, th or they, they can choose from the n number of you know options available. So, that is where uh, advisory services is so important. Bibliographic services are developed for the different research scientists or uh, you know uh, your teachers where they are basically you know conducting any study or basically taking a you know course or preparing for any you know lecture. So, bibliographic study uh, or uh, services are important for them. CD-ROM search or current awareness type of services like news ar new arrival, different current content service, then selective dissemination of information type of service, you know several types of service, uh, e-journals. So, today's you know um, uh, every academic library subscribe to large number of e-journal databases or otherwise uh, 
uh, subscribing to different kind of you know journals, um, magazines, then popular um, literature. So you know they are make, um, making available to those things. Plus this uh, uh, type of libraries provide referral as well as you know uh, short and long range reference services also. Other services included like indexing and abstracting service. Whenever a person uh, wants a kind of you know literature abstracts to be prepared or maybe uh, users they approach library for particularly for faculties, they approach library for a you know um, uh, specific set of requirement. So, then our um, academic library staffs they prepare for uh, indexing and abstracting services. Then internet based several types of you know um, uh, services are being prepared. So, these are uh, also uh, um, provided to different you know researchers. Extension services or remote access. So, this is a new uh, concept has come to library through which uh, people or the users are getting access to library resources sitting at a remote place or at even at their you know home. So, they can access library resources from home. So, that kind of you know facilities libraries are making available. OPAC search which uh, OPAC is online public access catalog through which basically uh, an user can issue or return books um, using you know different uh, various parameters or various aspects of OPEC. Then digital library services are another type of you know services provided by academic libraries. Now, when you consider the different type of reference service developed by academic libraries, you know bibliographic instruction is one of them. So, bibliographic instruction helps a patron, here patron is any user, could be faculty, could be students, could be uh, the you know um, decision makers in any academic institution. So, basically they will be able to do you know um, research based on this bibliographic services. The second type of services is you know whenever they have any fact fi finding queries or any you know, type of you know request. So, answering to those requests so that is also a reference kind uh, reference services of academic libraries. Aids the patron in selecting resources. Now, every academic library has a selection process, book selection as well as journal selection process. So, you know that has to be facilitated by the library staff with support from the faculties. So, that you know the faculty gets the best you know available books as well as the information available in the market, same marketplace. And you know promote the library within the community. Now, with here community is the you know your students community, faculty community. So, basically you are providing these services to them, so that you know your library services is becoming popular, your library takes a shape of a knowledge storehouse or knowledge you know uh, access point, uh, one stop shop for your knowledge quest. So, that is how you know reference services are being provided from all academic library. Uh, and of any you know types like school, college or university libraries. Now, when we come to reference sources, now academic libraries have textbooks because students are there. So, you require textbooks, reference books for you know specific purpose when on specific subject or for higher studies where faculty recommend some books or some reference books are of uh, nature of you know uh, different type where specific subjects are dealt or like monograph type. So, those are reference book, conference proceedings are there, different ready reference sources like dictionaries, directories are there, dictionaries are for different words, directories are for different addresses, locations you want to find out, several ready reference sources like encyclopedias could be general or subject specific encyclopedias different yearbooks, handbooks, almanacs, you know uh, all these type of reference sources are available in um, any academic library setup. Now, uh, in case of you know different uh, um, school libraries, you would not be finding all these things, rather in school libraries you will find fictional sources, fictions then you know toys kind of thing or any 
um, cartoon kind of you know comic kind of books. So, those type of different type of books which are of not that much intellectual content in it. So, that kind of uh, for uh, resources for easy reference you will find in school reference uh, sources. Now, statistical sources is another uh, kind of you know resources where census data databases are covered. Now, uh, different type of databases it subscribes like individual databases such as you know web of science or maybe you know econ lit or uh, biological abstract or several type of you know um, science direct that kind of databases one can subscribe or today's academic libraries are believing in resource sharing. So, they are basically going into you know resource sharing model through consortia development. Now, many such consortia are available like indexed consortia like you know UGC consortia like IIM consortia are there. You know these consortia uh, as a head uh, um, institutionalize the process of you know uh, collection of different e journals into a single headquarter uh, or centralized place where one headquarter will be there in, uh, that will be uh, you know stationed in some organization like in case of indest it is in iit delhi and all academic institutions or uh, they will be taking facilities of you know uh, those knowledge access or they will be accessing those knowledge from at dif uh, sitting at different parts of the country like you know ugc consortia inflipnet is managing the show where all universities are getting access or universities and colleges are getting access to the, that knowledge. Periodicals and magazines are other sources where it can come in the form of individual periodicals uh, as print form or as um, uh, you know um, uh, non print or maybe uh, in CD ROM or in web form, web access form. So, that is also available. Government information sources you, when you see that you know. Uh, government publish different kind of reports. So, different reports like you know uh, maybe uh, forest survey of uh, India's report or archaeological survey of India's report as well as different statistical reports that government published like you know economic survey, national uh, account statistics and so on. So, those type of you know different um, reports even you know some specific cases you know the uh, library you know purchases um, uh, annual reports of different organization or maybe you know they try to source annual reports of different ministries uh, in hard copy as well as if it is available in soft copy. So, that also they want to you know um, uh, take care of them. Besides that you will find you know different standards and patents available in uh, um, uh, different you know university or maybe IIT kind of you know setup where you know standards or patents are useful for you know taking any decision of uh, the uh, baseline in, uh, survey or maybe conducting any specific you know standards um, in, or maintaining any standards in their research work. So, for that standards are required. So, different kind of standards are purchased in library and they uh, are referred by researcher for their research use. Similarly, whenever a research work is going on, if it is a path breaking research either innovative or maybe in the process change is bringing out. Uh, so, then you know pat normally these are patented. So, those patents are also being kept in library as you know government information sources. Business information sources is another part which you will find in different academic institutions where particularly management kind of you know um, uh, institutions where uh, you know different management subjects are uh, being taken. So, that includes different type of directories, different ty type of you know books, reference books including reports. So, all these type of business uh, information resource including the databases, including the business databases including you know uh, news databases. Uh, business news databases. So, those are also um, in, um, kept in academic libraries. Academic libraries also has different linguistic divisions. 
and you know several language documents so they are also you know one of the major information resources in academic libraries study materials tutorials regional and national level newspapers magazines maps atlas globes in school level you will find globes however maps and atlases are there in the all academic library for uh, you know special purpose use digital library these days are associated to all academic library almost all um, uh, university have some or the other way digitize some of their contents or are in the process of you know maintaining at least a hybrid library where digital as well as you know printed contents are kept uh, side by side internet usage and other sources of online databases uses so online databases including uh, you know different type of abstracting and indexing databases like science direct like the uh, world of science you know such kind of uh, databases are used in on as online uh, form cd rom databases are also you know subscribed from different you know vendors for users references now these are available when you see they in which format they are available so they are available in printed form as well as you know maybe in soft or hard bound form in audio books form electronic books in web access in web database form then you know in cds or dvds several software programs you will find in academic libraries microform microfiche you know are the technologies used where different data are getting stored then even braille material like you know uh, uh, vishwabharati university they have a huge braille collection of material uh, braille material collection so that kind of you know materials are also available now when you see different references sources so like books are there you know different magazines and periodicals are there yellow pages are there in academic libraries uh, which serves as the different directory sources also and maps and different atlases are also different kind of sources it also you know uh, announcement they made what kind of uh, um, you know courses they are going to do or conduct so or maybe they are doing some kind of you know celebration of uh, any uh, sort of or any particular uh, conference they are going to organize so that kind of announcement you will find also so that also serve as a reference source for many other fellow professionals news clipping sources is another source which is most important from uh, service also from you know um, any academic libraries where basically news either kept in the hard copy form or in the soft copy form it may be only a um, news headlines type of you know where links are provided to online sources of the newspaper so that type of you know clippings are also available in the every academic library they publish new arrival list now this new arrival list basically make people aware of how exactly they can um, how exactly users can you know get to know what is recent happening or what has being added in our library so keeping that thing in mind different varieties of you know new arrival services have been developed in different form one of them could be you know displaying them in the library itself the other one is displaying them in the form of a website and announcing them in the website so it could be in the form of a you know regular table of contents form when you know whatever new journal articles you are uh, you want to cover so that is getting covered so this is also called current awareness service so cu current content service is basically um, a part of this or rather uh, table of contents is a part of current awareness service as well when you see the other types of you know citation alerts is one of them so citation alerts basically help a you know uh, user to understand Uh, how many times their articles are getting cited research in progress is important for all researchers in the uh, uh, in academic library or the faculty members in academic library to understand what is going on in their particular you know area 
publication or of selective organizations so that are getting collected and uh, so as the pamphlets etc so these are basically an useful source for getting all sorts of you know what is happening in different other academic libraries or in other similar type of you know um, uh, library sources are uh, in, um, uh, normally covered and you know they are getting uh, accommodated in all academic library sources. Handbooks, different types of you can find in academic libraries, so as varieties of dictionaries are available, both subject specific as well as general language dictionaries, different directories you can find, yearbooks at national level as well as international yearbook. So, in, so that you will find in academic libraries, it will tell you all about the uh, international level as well as India specific. Similarly, almanacs uh, starting from Whitaker almanacs to you know all world uh, uh, national geographic almanac, whatever you think uh, you know the, you will find in an academic library setup. Some you know databases you can find that are abstracting periodical databases. So, like Econolit is the economic literature database, similarly chemical abstract, biological abstracts, you know all these databases you will find in different academic library setup. So, depending on the nature of the you know courses they undertake, so you know libraries will be subscribing to each of these abstracting databases. They also will be looking for some full text databases like Science Direct or Web of Science. So, this kind of database will uh, give them access to full text article as well. Now, this is an example of indexed consortia that I was telling you earlier. Now, one of the important feature today is you know uh, of academic library is you know website updates. What is done here that whatever developments is taking place in library are you know popularized through website medium. It is not only through website medium, social media is also taking a big role here. It is RSS type of softwares uh, are um, getting you know included into it. The push and uh, this is a push type of you know technology what academic libraries are used to popularize their contents among their users. Now, one important issue here is blogs where through different types of blog services academic libraries you know uh, librarians basically they write their contents in it you know like Cornell library stuff they live uh, they, they prepare several you know um, uh, types of block like shelf life where <coughs> what are there in their shelf problem solved and then you know this is English literature kind of blogs are also in mentioned similarly you know academic libraries does posting and you know Facebook in Facebook and Twitter also to mention their you know details. Now, today what we have learned that there is a vast number of resources are available in academic libraries for reference purpose and you know users depending on the nature of users and you know kind of objective or studies they are undertaking. So, academic libraries perform services and, and you know procure these reference sources for users benefits and their you know usage. Thank you.